hey guys welcome to another tutorial today i'm going to be showing you how i achieve this boho box braid using 100 percent canicolon braiding air yes you heard me right stay tuned to know how Today I got a braiding aid. Yep, it is the three-way mirror that everyone has been talking about. I finally got my hands on one. I'm uh, so happy. This one that I got actually it's more like a barber's a barbing kit, like a DIY barbing kit. It comes with like the apron thing that the men wear comes with. I think this is a magnifying mirror. It comes with this brush that you dust the air off your body with if you're using this to cut your hair three-way mirror i am absolutely excited and i want i i'm looking forward to how easy it makes you know parting my hair to be As you can see guys, it's already looking like this air styling process is going to be a lot easier and smoother thanks to this three-way mirror. And I'm starting out with freshly blow-dried air, freshly washed, deep conditioned, all that jazz. I'm going to part my air into four sections. So the air that I use to braid is the Darling Superstar Braiding Air and it is not pre-stretched. I did the stretching myself days before braiding. So these are the air that I have already fluffed out. So I always start by sectioning the air and just hanging them, hanging them on my towel rack. That is what I use for now. <laughs> After sectioning some of the braiding air and setting them aside, I'm going to now go ahead and part my air. I'm going to be parting my air and sectioning it into three parts, two at the front and the back side. See, the mirror is really coming handy in helping me try and get this parting to be as precise as possible Whilst this tutorial is not totally centered on how to braid your hair, I'm just showing you how I just managed to part my hair on my own. Typically, I feel with my fingers. Now I'm using my fingers and I'm also using the three way mirror.
for this style i did the feeding method and because i did not want my braids to be too heavy and bulky and full i just barely fed in air i just fed in air probably twice or three times <laughs> as i braided leaving out one section of air i braid at different points on different braids yes i don't have a particular point where i leave out air just wherever i feel like that is where i leave out air as you can see and the air that i leave out is what i'm going to use the air that i leave out is what i'm going to use to form the bohemian effect to these braids So I just keep braiding, braiding, and braiding. And then when I was done with the back section, I started to part my hair vertically in the front section and then I will go ahead and divide each vertical section into smaller sections for the braids, if that makes sense. You guys can just see what it is that I'm doing. I'm sure it makes more sense as you're watching. Ignore my rambling. <laughs>
braiding and taking several hours of breaks i am now done and we're going to get on to the next stage so now that i'm finally done i'm just going to reach out for all the airs that i left out the unbraided parts of the air that we're going to use to form the bow effect i'm going to just section them out and roll them in a spiral direction around the bendy rollers and when i'm done we're just going to dip it in hot water guys now this can be very tricky because you know you have the bendy rollers up on your head but you just want to be careful with it if if you would like to go the route of making the crochet air separately before long talk so you want to be careful when you dip the rollers in the hot water so you don't get, get to accidentally pour the hot water on yourself so that is what you see me do here carefully dipping it in hot water after which i towel dry and now when i was done dipping it in hot water i went ahead and blow dried it with the hand dryer i did not vlog that part i did not record that part So now that I'm done drying it out, I'm going to take down the rollers guys and here is where the magic unfolds. So to fluff out the air, I'm just lightly oiling my fingers. My hands can easily glide through and separate the curls to prevent freeze. Now that I'm done fluffing out the curls, I'm going to go ahead and trim the ends so that they can look more even and more pleasing to the eyes. <laughs> and I'm also going to be adding some mousse just so that the curls can stay in place and control freeze as much as possible. yes guys you can see all the beautiful curls that i just achieved it is so amazing how this works and i love the fact that the braids are not too full they are not too bulky i just love the entire look of this air let me know what you think if you're going to be trying it also let me know in the comments this is the finished look guys thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe for more and check the description box for details about how many packs of air that i used 